Hi guys, welcome back to the Boing Bookshelf. And uh, this is probably going to be another two reviews, one video. Although I'm probably going to half-ass the Storm and Fury review. Um, but anyways. Um, so, as I said in the Boing Book, or the Save the Bookshelf uh, for this month, uh, Jennifer L. Armentrout had, uh, had released the sequel to the um, Harbinger series. Um, Rage and Ruin. Oh my gosh. Finally got it. I was super, super happy to get it. Um, and it is, this series is a spinoff of the Dark Element series, which was written a few years back. Um, and so you're, you're still seeing some characters from uh, the Dark Elements, uh, like Roth and Layla and um, Cayman uh, and Zane. And then we're introduced to a new character named Trinity um, with Storm and Fury. Um, so a very brief summary, review-ish talk thing about Storm and Fury is, this is the first one. So um, Storm and Fury is where we meet Trinity. Trinity is, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of spoil this part a little bit, mainly because of, of what she is takes, it has a very big significance to Rage and Ruin. Um, so with Trinity, is, she is a half-human, half, um, trueborn, which is half-angel. Um, so she's living in a compound, um, of wardens who are gar gargoyle shapeshifters. Um, so they look human, but they shapeshift into, like, a, a like a, a stone-like, um, gargoyle, so the, think of it, tall, kind of creature-like-ish, kind of like gargoyles, I guess, the, the TV show, the cartoon, um, but yeah, and then they are, they are, you know, slated to protecting humankind from demons and all that stuff, so, anyways, um, but yeah, we follow, we meet Trinity there, she's at, the, at a compound, she's being hidden, no one else really knows what she is, um, and then, Zane and another guy um, from his or his clan leader. Like, uh, it's been a year since I've read this, so bear with me. Um, and I did not reread it before reading Rage and Ruin. Um, but anyways, um, so Zane and I think his clan leader come to the compound where she's staying at to inform them of some uh, really mysterious deaths of uh, of not just demons um, but wardens as well, and I believe a few humans. And basically, chaos ensues, um, and uh, Trinity has been uh, given, gifted, um, however you want to look at it, a protector, and her protector has come up abducted. So now she's on a race to try and save him while also having to deal with the smartassery of Zane. Um, which Zane is a really awesome character. I liked him even with the Dark Element series. But yeah, that kind of in like all hell breaks loose. Um, Roth and Zane, Roth and, and Layla and Cayman are in it a little bit, um, but not quite as much since we're starting trying to get to know Trinity. There's something a little special with Trinity that besides of her being half human, half angel, she has a very rare eye disorder. Um, called uh, retinitis pigmentosa and that is also what uh, Jennifer L. Armentrout is, has as well. So her vision is limiting um, so we're seeing how that is affecting her um, basically because she has given this character um, the same eye disorder. So Trinity can't see very well so her world is very limited, very narrowed, um, vision-wise, so she's having to, to kind of make up for it a little bit with, um, she has the confidence of a, of a bear, man, oh my gosh, she's amazing. Um, she can fight and hold her own, she's absolutely great. Um, and that's one thing that I like about Jennifer L. Armachalk, her girl, her female characters are really kick-ass, they, they can definitely hold their own. Um, and I think it was really unique that she, gave Trinity uh, RP 
and we're now seeing it and it's actually really terrifying um so hats off and all respect to jennifer Almarchout to to do that and like we kind of get a glimpse of seeing what she's dealing with and that's man dude you're amazing um and i'm so sorry you're going through this um so so yeah in a nutshell that's kind of that's kind of storm and fury um and i just wanted to give a little bit of a background for that for going into rage and ruin um because holy crap rage and ruin was absolutely 100 percent fan freaking tastic oh my god i read it within i want to say two days unfortunately i did have to adult adult some and i was super upset about having to adult um there were times where people were talking to me while i was reading and it's like i'm going to beat you with this book if you do not leave me alone <laughs> because i needed to get through this book um but yeah so it starts off pretty quickly after storm and, Ru storm and fury ends um i'm not going to give So here's a little bit of another tricky part. I kind of have to give another spoiler because it pertains to, or has spoiler for Storm and Fury because it pertains to Rage and Ruin. Zane in a way has somehow, and I'm gonna say somehow even though I know, but just in case you haven't read it yet, Zane has um, stepped into the role of protector. So Zane and Trinity are bonded now which means there's a whole bunch of like no-nos they can't do kind of goes with that forbidden romance um kind of a little bit cliche but i'm no not even gonna hold it against um uh, arm and Shaw. so but anyways so it picks up right shortly after zane and trinity have been bonded they are um trying to to, to figure out who is still who is doing um, these random killings of demons and wardens and stuff like that um, while also trying to figure themselves out. Um, okay. um, so as Zane and Trinity are trying to figure out themselves and this new bond and the cans and cannots of what that all entails, um, the Harbinger, who is basically leading them around uh, all over DC, well, their area of DC that they're in, um, with uh, more deaths. Like so, wardens are uh, are coming up, being slain almost every night, or in pl uh, significant places that um, that. Are trying to he's trying to get their attention so while this is going on the deaths are piling up and Zane and Trinity are trying to figure out who actually is the harbinger because they still don't know who it is um, and uh, how to stop him uh, but also trying to make sure that Trinity stays safe because she has a big very big role in in stopping the harbinger um, but yeah, that's kind of a really bad, crappy summary because uh, I don't. There's a lot that I don't want to say. Um, but so, anyways, um, the world was absolutely amazing. She has taken it from the Dark Element series, um, and then with Storm and Fury and Rage and Ruin has made it grow um, to a really, really awesome place. Um, she has, or yeah, Jennifer Allen Armantrout has, I like this type of reading. It's very like dark, um, theology. So like angels and demons and fallen and everything that kind of falls in with that. I, I really do enjoy it. Um, so I like the, 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 the history that she gives. It's really good. Um, I like the, the lore that she's used, um, for it. Um. I love that we get more Roth and Layla and uh, Cayman 
into this. They have a much bigger role in Rage and Ruin than they than they did in Storm and Fury. Um, we also get a couple new couple other characters from the Dark Element series into this one, so it it really does almost come full circle in a way, and in, in, even in a way where the where the 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 um, uh, battle big battle towards the end take place, um, but. It's, I really, really enjoyed this book. And I devoured it. I mean, like I said, if anybody really interrupted me while I was reading it, I was like threatening bodily harm <laughs> just so I could go back and read. And I was super disappointed about having two adults. Um, but yeah, so it's really, it was really good. I really, truly enjoyed it. Um, I liked the, I liked Zane and Trinity's relationship, how it grew. Um, definitely a bit more angsty in this one. Um, what not with the whole forbidden love um, aspect of it, uh, which yeah, it is kind of cliche, but you know, it, it it fits. Like it wasn't like I don't, it wasn't like really bad or anything. It wasn't cringy. It was really good. Um, but that's kind of been like my experience with all of Jennifer L. Armentrout's books. So like with Dark Elements and Rage and, and the Harbinger series, um, uh, even with the Luxon series and stuff like that, um, it was, I loved their, I loved the way she has done her relationships. They're really, really good. Um, I like the tension that she brings about with it. Trinity is like a big ball of rage in this one. So there's a, and like I said, it's, it, there's a lot of angst in it. Um, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, some of the parts where they kind of talked about, like, like this says take place in D.C., um, the National Mall was kind of mentioned a little bit, and I've only been there once, but it was kind of cool to kind of like, oh, I, 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 I kind of have like a visual map a little bit of where they're going, where they're talking about, but it was really awesome. Um, the, I'm not going to give away spoilers for for this one, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, I did have to do it with Storm and Fury, um, and I will probably like if I do any spoilers, it'll be after all this, and I'll put up like a warning saying that hey, we're about to go into some spoilery de details, um, because man, the ending, holy crap, holy crap. Okay, so um, <laughs> I was reading this at work, the last like maybe 30 pages. And yeah, a phone kept ringing. I uh, had a client processing, um, so it was. It got really intense, really quick. Um, and her, it's not like super, super drawn out, but it's not like cut short either. So I feel like the the span of the the, the detail in the battles and stuff like that happened really well. Um, I did have. The ending, the very end, spoiled for me. Uh, unfortunately, I was trying to look and see how many pages, uh, how many, what the page number count was, and I looked at the last sentence or last paragraph of the last page. So I ruined with that for myself, but so yeah, I didn't really get to have all the feels of everything, but the feels were, were should have been real for me. Uh, they would have been real, <laughs> real hard uh, if I hadn't have looked at the back of the pit book. Um, so I have learned my lesson. I will not be doing that again. Um, but yeah, so holy crap, man. It was just things went, things went. And that's really all I can say about that part until I get to the spoiler part of this video. Um, but yeah, so I like, I really want to go back through and, and reread the Dark Elements and, and then read these two again because they were it was so good. Um, I really enjoyed the writing. Uh, Trinity was a re is a really good character so far. I cannot wait to see how it's going, how this is going to come about into the third book because holy crap, just just saying, holy crap. Um, and no pun intended for these books because, you know, with training being an angel and all that. Anyways, so, oh yeah, anyways, 
I would highly recommend these books. These are amazing. Um, I would start with the Dark Element series just because so that way you, you know what's kind of going on because some uh, like Zane's past is mentioned in Rage and Ruin and it's described pretty well so it's like it's not like you you would you'd be completely lost but I would recommend reading the Dark Element series and then going into the Harbinger because it just gives you more of a feel you get you get to fall in love a bit more with Zane and with uh, Layla and Roth and everything and it's just and understand those characters and like know the awesomeness of um, Roth's familiars so I'm just this they were amazing and they were amazing touch to to the dark elements and, and to definitely to Rage and Rowan um, but yeah so totally totally recommend these you have to try them out um, yes, they are YA, but they honestly don't read like YA. There is some things, I mean, like, not say they don't read like YA. There is still the, the typical stuff, like the, the forbidden romance and, you know, first times of, of um, things that opportunity experiences, but it's well written. It's an amazing world that Jennifer L. Armitage has built and then has, like, has just built upon that for this series so i would highly highly recommend the series so check it out brand new brand spanking new book came out just a few days ago so probably not even a week just yet um but yeah check it out it is amazing um that's all i'm gonna say about it right this second okay so i'm about to talk about the spoiler or the ending for raging ruin um, so if you have not read it, read it yet, um, and you are very particular about spoilers like I am, stop the video. Thank you for watching. Give us a like. Love y'all. See you next time. Anyways, if you don't care about spoilers, you have read it, stick around. Okay, so the ending... The ending, I knew that something bad was going to happen to Zane, mainly because of the very last sentence that I read in the last page during my flip through by accident. Not by accident, I did it on purpose, but I didn't mean to read it. He turns into an angel. Zane is now an angel. Zane is no longer a warden. Zane is an angel. What the hell? <laughs> Not like a bad what the hell, but oh my god. Um, so like in the battle when when Gabriel comes down because we learned that Gabriel is the harbinger um, and he kills Zane. Um, that was absolutely like knocked the breath out of me for a minute but because i knew because i already went through unfortunately and read that last little bit i knew he wasn't going to be gone forever so but i wish i would have been able to feel those things because I, that's the whole time the whole thing going on in my head was like don't freak out because zane's coming back don't freak out because zane's coming back and he's an angel don't worry um so yeah we learned about the Harbinger, who the Harbinger is, and holy crap. Um, I do really like the fact that she has taken Gabriel and twisted him. Um, it has a very much a very big um, like prophecy type feel. Um, I'm like, but not like like super dark and, and um, demented like prophecy, but anyways. Um, but yeah, so we, we learned that and then Zane dies. And that utterly destroys Trinity. And her feels were very, very strong. And uh, I feel like that, that whole part was pretty decently done. Um, but yeah, so I have no idea. And it kind of leaves, leaves on like a cliffhanger right there. Um, 
uh, after we find out that Zane is an angel. Um, but, but I have no idea how this is going to play in because Trinity and Zane no longer have that bond. She's a trueborn without a protector. What is Zane's role now going to be in the next book? And oh my God, can we please get the next book soon? Because I need, I need to know <laughs> so bad. I need to know what's going on and how this is going to affect Zane and Trinity and um and this the, the whole the whole thing the whole end of the world end of times apocalyptic battle that's happening and <sighs> yes so <laughs> unfortunately it did live on a cliffhanger like that um, but holy crap I and like I said I wish I hadn't spoiled it for myself. I wish I had been able to have those feels and those emotions of being shocked when when Zane dies and going through the grief with Trinity um, but because I knew what was going to happen to him it didn't hit me the way I wanted it to so unfortunately man man anyways so but yeah that's a little spoiler that I wanted to say um, again um, um, just just I highly recommend these books. Highly recommend them. You won't be disappointed. Um, even if you're not really big into YA, Jennifer L. Armantrout has never disappointed. Um, so, that is Rage and Ruin with the little spoiler edition. Um, and I will totally say this again. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for watching my rambling <laughs> attempts at a review <laughs> while trying not to be overly geeky or nerdy um but anyways um so yeah give us a like um if you got any book suggestions or whatnot drop them in the comment section uh you can find me on facebook or not facebook um um instagram through the hashtag because i'm giving out my instagram name is really long um, but it has nothing to do with books, to be honest. <laughs> so anyways, um, but yeah, so totally check them out. You're not going to be disappointed. And, um, that is Rage and Ruin, book two of the Harbinger series. So, um, in the meantime, uh, continue reading and take care and we'll, uh, catch y'all next time. Bye.